Now let us see how non-metals react with oxygen. When non-metals react with oxygen, they form non-metal oxides. For example, the non-metal carbon. Carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide that is CO2. This can be seen during burning of coal. When coal burns, it forms carbon dioxide. Let's see one more non-metal that is sulfur. When we take sulfur powder in a spatula and heat it, it forms sulfur dioxide gas. We collect this gas in a test tube. Now let's test this gas. Let's see whether it is acidic or basic. For that we use a litmus paper. We are using blue litmus paper here. The dry blue litmus paper. When dry blue litmus paper comes in contact with SO2, we will see no change. But if we take a moist blue litmus paper, we will see that the litmus paper is changing from blue to red. This indicates that sulfur dioxide gas is acidic. But why didn't it show any change on the dry litmus paper? Recall, acidic properties are seen only in the presence of water. Okay, now this indicates that sulfur dioxide is acidic. Let's take carbon dioxide. If we test carbon dioxide, we find the same thing. The blue litmus changes red. That means even carbon dioxide is acidic. So generally we say non-metal oxides are acidic in nature. Now what must be happening when non-metal oxides come in contact with water? When CO2 comes in contact with water, it forms an acid, carbonic acid that is H2CO3. And when sulfur dioxide that is SO2 comes in contact with water, it forms sulfurous acid that is H2SO3. Due to which when these gases come in contact with moist litmus paper which, is, which has water in it, they form acid and they turn the litmus paper from blue to red. But there are certain non-metal oxides like carbon monoxide, nitrogen monoxide, dinitrogen oxide, water, all these are neutral oxides. So we can state that generally non-metal oxides are acidic in nature except carbon monoxide, nitrogen monoxide, dinitrogen oxide, water, etc. Now this N2O for your information is also known as laughing gas. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.